We've reviewed toaster ovens. We've reviewed toasters. We've reviewed the gaming console of the future. We've reviewed products that make you less ugly. But today, this product sucks. Welcome back to another tech review, everybody. Cue the music. So Americans, you might know Sharp is a brand that makes televisions, but you're gonna wanna watch this product carefully too. It's a vacuum cleaner! So we're gonna start with the head of this machine and we're gonna work our way down the shaft to the handle. This is where the magic happens and then we're gonna go into the giraffe neck. We'll talk about that later. And into the body. Now you see that's a little fat and round. I'm not disappointed about it. And then into the cord. You see this cord carries electricity to the entire thing from very far away. Like look how far, it just keeps going and going. It's like the yellow brick road up in here. The innovation that was needed to make this product successful was equivalent. To Thomas Jefferson inventing the light bulb. To call me excited to review this product would be to call me flabbergasted at the end of the village. What a twist! Thanks, M. Night Shyamalan. Where do we start? I have no idea. Absolutely clueless. Let's start with its design. You see, it is two full pieces. And the pieces are tethered together with this kind of tube and like an accordion feel. So any accordion players out there are going to be immediately pleased when they feel this thing. Now, its unruliness is what gives its name. The giraffe neck, inspired by Africa's own super tall animal, this giraffe neck allows you to reach places you would have never thought. Hear that noise? I'm hitting my ceiling and I'm sitting on the floor. Incredible. Let me show you what I mean. Because this unit is so tall, you can clean up here, and up here, and even up here. You see? They're just covering all the bases. Sharp, you've outdone yourself. Okay, now that we've cleaned our ceiling, I want to show you how it's done. If you take a look at the bottom, here's where the magic ha- What the heck? Oh no, that's not good. Aw, it said subscribe. Love Closet Anthony. I'm gonna cry. Closet Anthony. Hey, no problem, Anthony. Hey, man. You deserve it. You didn't have Goodbye. to do this. This was really sweet of you. He's like the gift that keeps on giving. Okay. All right, now let's move up into the top. This monstrosity has three buttons. One, two, three. Basically off, on, and super on. And then into the base. Now, I know what you're thinking. In America, vacuum units are just one thing. There's no, you know, mess entanglement. This is Sharp doing one thing. They saw the problem that in America, people had a really hard time keeping their vacuum cleaners from rolling down hills. When you separate the neck and the shaft and the egg, you see, this unit doesn't really roll very well. It gets caught on trees and twigs and stuff like that. So, although it might seem a little inconvenient, this is super important for keeping your vacuum cleaner where you want it. Now that I've been sitting with this piece of technology for quite some time, I, I really feel that if Treebeard was laying down and was a vacuum cleaner, he would look pretty similar to this. And I think most of you J.R. Tolkien critics out there would agree with me. Now, let's go back to the egg. If you pop this open, you have the cool cap. This cap fits onto the front of it, so you can get into the tight places, like, you know, in between the folds. Similar to the unit two weeks ago, this has a cord hole where if you pull, and pull, and tug and pull, and you keep going, cords galore. Towards galore. This means you can roam around your entire studio apartment and clean. The word incredible doesn't do it justice. Now enough of the talking, let's get a sucking. Get out of the way, plug. Boink! So as I said earlier, you have on and super on 
Hear that cool down? Hear that cool down? That's how much power is in it. It takes many seconds for the engine to stop going bleep. All right, ready? Ready, test one, on. Wow. Test two, super on. To call that clean would be to call Martha Stewart a chef. Incredible! So I have just two more things to tell you about this product and you'll know whether or not it's the product for you. One, Sharp saw Dyson's vacuum cleaners and said, Those suck? We can make one that sucks a little better. And I think they did. Number two, there was a warning on the packaging that said, do not try to vacuum up human feces. They said it would get kind of caught in the, in the tube portion and you wouldn't be able to get it out. So babysitters, this might not be the vacuum for you. I said two more, but maybe three. If you hold it like this, it's like a rocket launcher. <laughs> or maybe a gun. <laughs> or a vacuum cleaner. Maybe just a vacuum cleaner. All right, everyone, that's, that's it for today. If you like this, I kind of do this stupid tech review every Friday. It gives me something to keep my life fresh. Post daily videos. If you are into that sort of thing, stick around. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. That sounded like a question. No, I'll see you tomorrow. Back at EC. Hi, you've reached Anthony. Please leave a message after the beep. Thanks.